Biafran group talk tough as Nigerian Navy deploys ships and choppers to Gulf of Guinea. Biafran Nation League BNL has berated the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awal Gambo for deploying ships, tugboats, helicopters and aircraft to the Gulf of Guinea. BNL which has its operational base in Bakasi Peninsula, in the eastern end of the Gulf of Guinea, accused the chief of naval staff of taking such decision because of our planned expulsion of oil companies operating under Nigeria in the maritime boundaries area of Bakasi Peninsula. In a joint statement signed by the national leader of BNL, Prince Will Richard, Deputy National Leader Ebuta Ekon Tekun and the Chief of Staff of BNL, Linus Essien, on Saturday evening. The group said any military operations in the Gulf of Guinea would resist by the inhabitants of the region. Recall that the Nigerian Navy had at the weekend deployed six ships, two tugboats, two helicopters, and a Nigerian Air Force ATR-42 aircraft to the Gulf of Guinea. Vice Admiral Awal Gambo, the chief of the naval staff CNS, had on Saturday inaugurated the 11th exercise of Bangim Express 2021. The flag off of the multinational exercise for maritime security was held on the board of the Nigerian Navy ship NNS Thunder at the naval dockyard in Victoria Island, Lagos. Gambo said the huge resources and vast potential of the Gulf of Guinea was being undermined by multifaceted domestic and cross-border threats. The CNS said the exercise presented another opportunity for the Nigerian Navy to work together with other national and regional navies and the spirit of the UND Code of Conduct. Thank you for listening to this news. My dear viewers, if they like, let them deploy 20 aircraft. If the Biafran Nation League want to still achieve what they want to achieve, they'll still achieve it. For crying out loud, it is their territory. If they say they don't want oil companies because they are not paying the tax they're supposed to be paying, they have to do that. They have to do that. This um, issue of tax payment is everywhere. Can I tell you that in legal state, we pay the highest tax. The highest tax more than any other, any other state in legal state. What we are not supposed to pay, we pay. Yet some persons will be challenging those in the eastern region of their own rights, trying to take over what belongs to them to themselves. No. Look at see. Look at what they are, look at. Look at what they, they, they went on to to deploy. Eh? See what they went on to deploy. Something they're supposed to deploy for the for the, for the, for, the, for the criminal headsmen and the bandits. At Zambisa for they are deploying it for a community. Is that not a shame? Is that not a shame? Is this what they're supposed to do? Hmm? Is that? It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. I'm totally disappointed in our force. <laughs> Completely disappointed that our own force could deploy all of this for a community you see we have the sambisa forest we have bono we have bono we have uh, uh, kaduna where they will deploy this this uh, sophisticated machines and go after these criminals even as we are speaking as we are speaking now Kaduna is in a very serious tension. Same goes to Bono. Look at the machine they're supposed to, to deploy to those areas. 
they did not. They are deploying it for, for community that, 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 that didn't even do half of what these criminal headsmen or bandits are doing to them at, at the forest. Look at That's why if I say our Nigerian military are weakly, some person will be saying, what is this guy saying? <laughs> My dear, we just have to tell ourselves the truth. We just have to tell ourselves the truth. Because if we don't start telling ourselves the truth now, I wonder when we will start knowing the truth. I wonder when the truth will be revealed to us. I wonder. So it is now. The best time is now. Let's start telling ourselves the truth. You understand? Deploying the military aircraft and all of those machines to Peninsula will not prevent these people from going on with whatever they want to go to. If they say they don't want these people, they don't want them, then these oil companies on their own side, if they still want to maintain the environment that is not theirs, then let them dance to the tune and respond by paying the tax that is supposed to pay. Let them pay. Let them pay. Eh? Is it is, is, is it is it proper? Is it proper? Why are we why are we not trying to defend these people when we know that they are wrong? This is what is causing setbacks in this country, Nigeria country. You see that? That is it. That's our problem. That's where we are lacking. That's where we are we are we are we are, we are backward. Eh? The navy, the, the, the navy chief deployed uh, aircraft. That is what they, the same thing they did in Olo. Same thing they did in Olo. And at the end of the day, what happened? They don't yet try it again now. Because even Zodima himself is regretting the action and thereby denying. Thereby denying. No, let them go on. Nobody is stopping them. They didn't deploy as many as they want to. That will not still stop the Biafrans from making the headway if they want to. It won't. It won't. Do you understand? So, my, my dear viewers, I encourage you. All right? Deem it free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you